Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I put up a video the other day about uh, this uh, General Electric Simon XT alarm system and uh, I had a system battery that was low so I showed you how to take it apart. Now I'm going to show you how to put it back in. It's really the reverse of taking it apart uh, but I wanted to point out to you that um, this new battery that I got on Amazon on the website they actually show a picture of this original battery which is a L-E-O-C-H Leoc uh, it says made in China battery and the new one is uh, Universal Power Group UPG the specifications are, are very close, close enough as to be uh, compatible I would say but they did put the wrong picture up there so I ding them a little bit for that uh, also the new batteries may not be fully charged and they may take uh, I'd say up to 24 hours of charging so when you put this in if you still get the low system battery alarm which is uh, six beeps every four hours every eight hours I'm not sure I didn't time how many hours um, give it some time because it may just need to be charged up so anyway proceeding put the old one out of the way this one has a, a positive and a negative and the uh, wire the wires are coded for the colors so just plug those in I'm going to use two hands to plug them in there are two little slots in the plastic case where these uh, wires should be routed through there so you don't crush them when you stick the uh, battery in and there are also two clips here so you're going to stick the battery in it's going to clip and click uh, now when I attached it I did get a single beep I guess that's a good sign uh, now let me slide it in there these two slots here are actually um, for an earlier version of the alarm where the wiring was a little bit different uh, for this one which is the XT uh, you just tuck the wires underneath and make sure that the terminals are facing towards the top this would be the top of the uh, alarm system panel and it'll make that beep when it uh, when you first plug it in uh, the top has a little extra spacing right here for the terminals to clear if you try and do it the other way around you won't have any spacing for the terminals uh, so now I'm going to clip it in okay so now this this whole thing is upside down now uh, this is the top so that's how the battery would clip in the terminals are on the side where there's extra spacing and uh, now you're going to have a charger here's the charger and you have a lot of extra wiring here so you just have to bundle up the extra wiring and put it in this back cavity um, of the panel which is screwed to the wall I'm going to need two hands to do that uh, but let me show you what's going to happen after that's all tucked in there enter access code alarm cancelled that was loud uh, there's some little hooks there okay now I'm showing you there's some little hooks there that you hook the bottom of this panel on and then flip it up and it'll clip into clips on the top uh, I'm going to need two hands so let me do this and then I'll show you there's a little bit of an idea of how that I just shoved that bundle in there you can make it a little neater if you want to and then this is just sitting on those little little hinge thing on the bottom and I'm going to flip it up and it will close again need two hands okay I just snapped it back in and now you can see how it sits on this hinge down here 
There's a there's a cover plate for it that um, you have to use it every day a few times a day so I just leave the cover plate off. And now this uh, charger is going to go back in and I have to unplug my light. Okay, I screwed the charger in there and I put my light back on. Uh, the lighting should be better on this one than uh, the one that I shot which was the disassembly. And you can take this excess wire here and just sh shove it up in that hole and give it a little bend and it should stay up there pretty good. Uh, now that's about it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to look up a system test and I'm going to show you how to do a system test. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to show you how to set the clock whenever the power is gone totally out, battery and uh, AC power, you need to reset the clock. So this is a down arrow, up arrow. If you press it down once, it says set clock. This is the enter key. Hit enter. Now let's try that again. Set clock. Enter code. You have to enter the master code. It's usually one, two, three, four. Enter. Now it says set clock and I'm waiting for it to start blinking. This is a little tricky. Hold on. Okay, I had to press enter again one time. And it says 2 o'clock, 2.56. So I'm going to just change it to 1 and then go back to 2 because the correct time is 2.56 or 7. Hit enter again. The minutes blank. Go up. We'll say 2.57. Hit it again. AM PM blinks, it's PM, enter again, and then hit status twice. So, I hope that helps. You had to hit enter one extra time there, which the, uh, the written instructions don't tell you that. They're uh, poorly written or incorrect written instructions. But you should be able to get your alarm set. And then well, let's just check status. Clock is okay. These are all settings. System tests. Hit enter. Then hit your personal code. Hit enter. No, that's not working. Let's just try status. System panic alarm. Sliding door open. All right, I know that is open, so we're okay there. And I think that went through a system test. Anyway, it's a little tricky, like all of these things, with uh, computer circuitry and control panels and. Uh, Unfortunately, usually with instructions that are poorly written or incorrectly written or translated from English to Chinese to English. But there you go. At least you know how to change the battery and maybe set the clock. Uh, if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up. If you want more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> if this was all just confusing, don't subscribe to the channel. <laughs> anyway, have a great weekend. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.